Hey, welcome back to the course today. Welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about how the single plane deals with side hill lies. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're going to go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. All right, so before we get down there, let me just hit one down the left side. This is number 11. I'm going to hit one down the left hand side. I got my golf ball lined up here. As you know, I line the stripes of the ball up. I pick a line. So I'm going down the left side and we'll see if we can't get it on that left hand down slope over there. Perfect. It's right on the left corner. You know, there's various versions of side hill lies. You got slope going up, uphill, downhill, ball below the feet, ball above the feet, and obviously the combination of all those. I just want to talk about a couple of them here. This one's a little bit on an upslope, um, which means that the slope is, is the ball's a little bit on the upward part of the slope here. And what's happening is it's adding loft to the club. In other words, it's increasing the amount of tilt to the body, which increases the amount of loft on the club. So I'm gonna take a quick measurement of this and we'll just kind of walk you through this. And there's a couple things you gotta really pay attention to. Most of it's ball position and body position relative. You gotta know what slope you're on and know what the ball position is. So let's measure. Okay, 170, wait, pin's kind of deep here. Yeah, so it's interesting. It's 172 to the flag, but the slope, this has a slope rating on it is 182. I'm going to go look at this sprinkler head real quick. I think it pins pretty deep. Yeah, so this says, this is how big this green is. 139 to the front, 173 to the back. And that's 157 center. So this is, look how big this green is from front to back. So when you're back here, you could have between 150 to 180 yards. Wow, that's, that's a big difference. So. So the pin, so it's 177, so 172, 177. So 177 flag, five degrees of slope. This thing kind of measures slope. So, um, but here's what happens on the shot. I'm trying to pick the right club. So I, let's say I got, I got 177 yard shot. That normally is about a six iron for me. However, because it's slightly on the upslope, it's adding loft. So a six iron is gonna go higher now. So even though I only have up between 172 and 177 yards to hit the shot all the way back to that flag, it's gonna come off higher. So I'm gonna grab a five iron. And that's the thing about it. That's the thing about when you watch golf on TV and you see this stuff, you don't know the entire conditions that they're, they're playing under. And now I, there's actually very little wind today. Um, but okay, let's talk about how to hit the shot. So I, I have a five iron in my hand to get it all the way back to that flag from the upslope. Ball's gonna go off higher from the slope. Here's why it goes higher. Because when you stand up on the slope, the body's tilted this direction. It's, it's increasing the effective loft of the club when I come into it. It's taking that five iron and turning it into a six iron, basically. Now, if, it, if I had more slope than this, it's gonna go even higher. So expect the shot to come in higher, take one more club, and then just adjust your body to the slope. Now. I always, and here's kind of the rule of thumb of how you execute these shots, follow your lead shoulder. What I mean by that is if I tilt, see that? See my shoulder goes back a little further, put the ball back a little further. If, and we're, we're going to talk about more about this on the slopes, follow the lead shoulder based on your tilt. So, so remember, tilt more, follow the shoulder, place the ball there. All right, here we go. Not changing my line because the ball is going to fly straight. Fall, tilt my body, it feels a little more tilted because of the slope. This thing feel like, feels like it's going to come off like a really high five iron here. Hit it good, just a little left. I think it's a little long, but it's good. I mean, it's good. It came off nice and high, just like I expected off that slope. So that's uphill eye. What I'm going to do with you now is let's go run, run to the other side of the slope and go off a downhill lie. Okay, so 
I put a ball over here. Now this is on the downward side of this slope. I'm a little closer to the hole here, probably 15 yards. But this is a different situation. Remember back there where I said that you need to follow the slope. So in other words, if you're tilted this way, notice the shoulder. You follow the slope with your shoulder, place the ball a little bit back in your stance because the shoulder went back when you tilted. When you deal with this slope, you notice that it's the opposite because now I want to I want to match my tilt to the slope. So I get more tilted this way. I'm more leaning with the slope. What happens to the lead shoulder? It goes more what? Forward. So the ball needs to go more that way in your stance. This is where I think a lot of people make mistakes. They start putting the ball back in the stance on all these slopes. Now either way, when I get that ball forward, it de-lofts the club. So let me grab um, let me grab a measurement real quick on this. See what we got to that flag. Once again, I think the flag's pretty deep. All right, we only got 150, 150, 156. So got a 156 yard shot, but here, this is actually, even though, I don't know what this grade is coming down here, maybe 10 degrees, 15 degrees, but it is a lot because think about, I hit an eight iron 155, 156 yards. That's probably, this is close to an eight iron. But if I hit that eight iron, look at the green really quickly. See how it's elevated? Right now, from this slope with an eight iron, because it's delofting that eight iron, I don't know if I can carry it because of the trajectory of the eight iron. I don't know if I can carry it onto that green. Let's give it a shot. Let me just hit the eight iron, and this is going to come off low. But just make sure that you don't, make sure you don't put the ball back in your stance. That delofts it even worse. The ball will be slightly forward not changing my line. It's not going to change the shape of the shot. Follow the slope with the shoulder. So here we go again. So lining it up and watch what I do here. When I tilt a little bit this way, follow the slope, the ball needs to go slightly forward. Now, here's what's so tricky about this slope. And this is why people hit this shot badly is they tend to go, they go to their normal tilt. And if you do that, what happens is obviously you're going to hit high on the golf ball you got to stay with these. It's hard because you got to stay down and with it. That's why people struggle off these slopes, especially when they're on the down slope like this. So watch the swing, stay down on that slope. So it's going to stay down and with it. It's going to feel like I'm really down into the golf ball. Came off really low. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, barely made it. Yeah, I barely crawled in the front. That's a perfect example. Eight iron, easy 155 with an eight iron, but not, not when it delofts it so much that it comes off like a six iron because it doesn't have the air carry. Make a lot of sense. So that might be a seven iron, but I try to get away with that eight iron and hit it on the front of the green. Let's go check those shots out. All right, let's look at the result of those two shots. This is the one that I hit the eight iron from 156. Um, but look, see, it, it just did, it couldn't carry this far. This ball went about 140 yards or so. And the reason is because you're delofting the club. It just can't get in the air. And so it barely made it on the green. Not that I hit it really great, but it wasn't bad. So this is the, this is the tough part about, and by the way, it didn't help that this green is super elevated. This is, this is 20 feet in the air here. So, so you, you have this elevated green. So this thing, ha you, you know, you gotta get the ball in the air to carry it. And that's why this, that's a hard shot. That one back here on the left, I hit really good. That's that's the um, this is the five iron I hit from what? What was that? One seventy-seven or so. And look at look at where this one went to. So came in here and this landed exactly hole high. I mean, this is almost exactly perfect. Just a little past the whole hole location here. So this one easily got all the way here. Now I could probably still hit a six iron on that shot, but all in all, you can see that it was much easier from that uphill eye to fly it onto the screen than that downslope, which is the trouble with downslopes. So just as a recap for you on slopes, ball position, adjust your tilt, adjust your single plane tilt to the slope, follow the ball position with the lead shoulder, and then make sure you hit the right club that's going to get that yardage. Anyway, that's side slopes, uphill, downhill. Next video, I'll show you some below the feet, above the feet. Thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you soon.